Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the four view advanced assessment. Um, the first thing is, is that uh, the new additional uh, measurements uh, called uh, craniovertebral angle, which is CVA, um, flexion extension of the skull, thoracic kyphosis, Q angle, and pronation supination of the foot are to be turned on in settings. So if we go to settings, and then we go into posture screen. Notice we have to turn those measurements on right here. Okay. Otherwise it will just do the traditional four view assessments. With that being said, let's go back to the client and we're going to go ahead. I've already obtained photographs. So we have four, uh, four photographs. We're going to go ahead and begin a postural assessment. So this is going to be routine just like you've done on the two view. So we're gonna go ahead and click these points. And at the top, remember, it tells you where to click. Uh, it gives you an estimate. You still have to use some clinical judgment. And if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and drag those points into a uh, better location. Okay. So we're gonna come in. The rib, this is approximately breast level T8, T10. ASIS is we recommend that you pre-mark if you can. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and put it where I think they are. Then we're going to go mid patella and mid patella here. And then uh, tibial tuberosity. And right there. Okay. There we go. We're going to go ahead and if you just you need to correct any of these points, you can just drag them into place as you see fit. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on. We're going to do this is a new point, the lateral canthus of the eye, and then EAM. Now, a new point here is proximate C7 spinous. This point, just like on the two view, is the base center of the neck at the height of the shoulder. Then we're going to do um, the apex of thoracic kyphosis. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down um, approximately to the level of the elbow uh, where the kyphosis ends, maybe T12, L1, L2. As you um, zoom out of the picture again at the end, you can go ahead and, and fix these points if need be. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and PSIS and then ASIS, greater trochanter, lateral knee, lateral malleolus. What I like to do here is go ahead and fix the points as we see fit. If we need to, move them up. Okay. So now we get a, a better representation. C7, the apex of the kyphosis end of the kyphosis, approximately the level of T12, L1, L2, which on adults is very close to the elbow, um, depending on the position of the camera when you take the photograph. On children, it might be a little different, but uh, on adults, you may have to have them bend their arm forward to be able to see their front and back of their, um, their torso and to expose the ASIS and PSIS, depending on their shoulder position and their elbow position, you may have to instruct them accordingly. So on the back view, we're gonna go ahead and do the inferior ear lobes. Okay, now on this view, we recommend if you can to palpate and pre-mark some of the spinuses if possible. I'm gonna, for purposes here, I'm just gonna go ahead and estimate these just to walk you through, because I wanna to get to the new points here. Then we're gonna go ahead and do approximately a T4 spinous. Okay. And we can go ahead and fix these points. If we make a mistake, we can go ahead and do this. Now here's a one issue with this client. Their toes really weren't facing forward. Um, and you can also make sure the camera might be a little bit lower when you take this photograph, it might be a better representation. But um, even though um, their feet are turned out a little bit more, it doesn't look like he has significant pronation or supination with that. Double check the points. 
with that. Okay, we're gonna move that point in a little bit more. Again, pre-marking this would be uh, that much better and more efficient for the, those spinous marker points, okay, and the ASISs, okay? Because it's really hard to tell his ASISs here because obviously, A, they're under his clothes, okay? And uh, it'd be good to pre-mark those if you can. Again, lateral marker of the eye, lateral canthus, EAM, approximate level C7 spinous, center base of the neck, which is at the height of the shoulder, apex, kyphosis, where the kyphosis ends, PSIS, ASIS for pelvic tilt, greater trochanter, lateral uh, knee, lateral malleolus. Double check your measurement points. If you need to um, adjust any of those accordingly, you can go ahead and do so. And at this point, you have all the new measurements. Now, something to keep in mind, this generate PDF document is only for just to get a preview of the four view PDF document. We recommend you never really show that to the patients or clients because it's quite confusing. We recommend that you do the two view. So we have all four views here digitized. We have the results for you to be able to review with your client or patient. But if we're gonna send um, the PDF, the one that we send to the patient would be, and we would always use the bottom email portion here, would be this preview um, of the two views, okay? That makes it a lot more simplistic for the uh, patient or client to understand their postural deviations, okay? The four view is for clinicians put in their electronic health records, okay, with all the deviations. The new values that we just did are right here, Q angle, the uh, pronation, supination, skull flexion extension, okay? That's the lateral canthus of the eye to the EAM to horizontal. Notice that we're averaging the points uh, from left and right side, that's very important um, based on their AP postures. Craniovertebral angle, left and right, and then the averaged, the thoracic uh, kyphosis, and the pelvic tilt, okay? So those are the new measurements on the four of you assessment. If you have additional questions, please reach out to our support team at support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.